I don't consider myself a professional at what I do. I am number one, a lover of God and a pursuer of Him. So my heart, my soul, my mind, everything runs hard after Him. Secondly, my great joy is to be married to Esther. We've been married 17 years and then we have four children. And then I get to work in this thing called Christian ministry. But that's fourth in my kind of whole thing. Jesus first in knowing Him and walking with Him and having my own relationship that I feed in every day. So Jesus is no longer walking the planet as far as we know. What is the essence of Jesus? It would take literally hours, if not days and weeks, to look at this God-man, Jesus. I say God-man because He came down in flesh and He was a man, but He was God. He laid aside His divinity. And He isn't walking the earth in the same way that He did 2,000 years ago, but He is walking the earth today by the Holy Spirit. I don't understand the Trinity, but I've studied something of the Trinity. One of the old fathers in the third century, Augustine, said if we try and focus our heads on understanding the Trinity or explaining it, we'll lose our minds. But if we reject it, we'll lose our hearts. So Jesus comes as a representation of God to the earth. But then when he was leaving the earth, he said to his disciples, I'm going, for I'm going to leave you the Holy Spirit. It's God again and the Holy Spirit will come and He will reveal me and He will reveal the Father and I will be with you by His presence. I won't leave you as orphans, I'm going to stay with you. And I live with the reality of that truth every day, whether I'm sitting on a plane, whether I'm standing in a passport queue, or sitting in a hotel room having done loads of work for two or three days and I'm feeling a little bit like I miss my family, I miss my regular things that I'm used to, that the presence of God in all of those settings are the same. It's a living, active, very, very interactive relationship. It's faith in something we can't comprehend.